Will the Ravens break into the AFC's big three? When we talk about the big three, of course, the Chiefs, the Bills, the Bengals, it seems like they've sort of separated themselves. Then you have so you know, like, making it a big four. Oh, yeah, yeah. To make it they're not four. dethroning. Yeah, like they're the not going to dethrone. Yeah. But can they get into a big four situation? Because there's a couple teams vying for that. The Jaguars we've talked about, the Chargers are there, the Dolphins, Zach, and the Jets. Like, who's that next team out of that big three? And I think it could very well be the Ravens. They, they had a great offseason, and of course it all started with the contract dispute for Lamar Jackson. That ends with him becoming the richest player or making the biggest deal in the history of the sport. Um, and there are Ravens fans who are a little hesitant to give Lamar that much money. But I'm telling you, I've seen <laughs> I've seen bad football when you don't have a quarterback before. And it it is tough to watch. They'll be very they'll be thankful by week five next year that <laughs> they have Lamar Jackson. Um, and outside of this young defensive line here, the team is loaded from top to bottom. It is a really, really good roster. One thing, though, that they finally did is add a little receiver depth. Depth We've seen since 2019, Baltimore had invested the fewest cap dollars on offense and the second fewest on receivers. And what did that turn into? The fewest receiving yards by wide receivers in three of the past four seasons for the Ravens. So this year, they go get Odell. They get your guy, Zay Flowers. They also bring in Nelson Aguilar, which, which is a pretty solid addition, especially to that receiving corp. Um, so I like what I've been seeing so far from Baltimore this offseason. Again, another AFC North team doing a good job. You finally give Lamar some weapons in addition to Mark Andrews, J.K. Dobbins, and Rashad Bateman. I, I think this Ravens team, I'm going to say that, yes, they can, they can actually make this a big four in the AFC. What do you guys think? I think that non-biasedly, I'll get to this, this mm-hmm. in a second, the Steelers are better than the Ravens. Really? Yeah. But uh, Baltimore, and I can't stress this enough. I think, well, I think Pittsburgh's defense is better overall, but Baltimore's defense is good. And I can't stress enough the fact that bringing in receivers, uh, you know, weapons for Lamar to throw the ball to alongside Mark Andrews is huge. Because Lamar's gotten criticism for years, and including myself about not being a good passer. I don't think he really is. Oh, I, I think, think he is. Like, I think he has to take a, big, a bit of a leap to become a top four team in the AFC. I don't, I don't know. think he's a great passer. I think he's a very good runner, good athlete. I don't think he's a great passer. Not like Joe Burrow, Pat Mahomes, or any of those guys. But could you see this as... I don't know, man. I, I mean, he, I, like, I, I think Lamar's a very good passer, but you look at, you look I, at some seen, guys... I, I don't think Lamar's a great passer. But if you look at guys like... Let's just... like We could throw out Tua. When you gave him those weapons, when Tyree Kill joined... Yeah, you know, he well, exploded right. as a passer. So you, you're saying I'm like saying. that could be like that's what I'm saying. Like, at least he, in the public eye, he has Odell. Now he has Zay. He has like he has three decent receivers alongside Mark Andrews, which is going to help because I've seen on several occasions where Lamar's rolling out of the pocket and throws some wobbly duck to nobody, and that might not be the case with some decent receivers now alongside one of the best tight ends in football. Ziggy, what do you think of that that statement from Jack there? Well, I think when you, I agree that Lamar is not a great passer. You know, like people focus a lot on the efficiency stats, but the Mm -hmm. nice thing about Lamar Jackson is he doesn't need to be a great passer to put up strong passing numbers, right? His rushing threat just forces defenses to play completely differently. So for a guy who's worse at passer, yeah, he can make it work. And I think, you know, there weren't a lot of new faces in in Baltimore, right? Like the only real players I think they added in free agency, you said Aguilar and Odell, and then there's Rocky Asen. And then, you know, they drafted Zay Flowers, but there's not a lot else there. But the biggest addition, I think, and the player or the guy that Ravens fans need to be the most excited about without question is Todd Monken. We saw the ceiling of the Greg Roman offense and it was good, right? You run the pistol on 90% of your plays, power run, get a few yards every play, put up some numbers, but it just wasn't a modern NFL offense. You bring in Monken, we saw what he could do in Georgia. You bring Lamar some new receivers. I think you could see an explosive offense. And the defense will be fine. I'm not worried at all about the defense. Defense came on really strong at the end of last season. And they should they should be just fine, as, as we said. The defensive line is the one concern. I know they have, um, oh, what's his name, from uh, from Michigan, David Ojabo, who's coming yeah. back. For, so they drafted him in the second round. Remember, that's a first-round talent basically entering the roster this year. They took him in the second round of 2022 after he tore his, I believe, his Achilles at his Michigan Pro Day. So he yeah. could come in and maybe be an maybe be an impact player. Linebackers, you're set there with Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen. Yeah. Uh, and the secondary is very good with Humphreys and Kyle Hamilton and all those guys. So yeah. the defense should be good. Sorry, Ziggy, they, go won't, 
they lost a couple contributors right on the offense of uh or it's like an outside linebacker they lost mm -hmm. justin houston they lost marcus peters but they should i fun. fully expect the rookies to be able to step up right Gaddafi, owe and ojabo well they'll, they'll do just fine i'm not worried at all when i look at this ravens team right now you know lamar jackson in his career wins about 70 percent over 70 percent of his regular season games it really shouldn't be a problem for them to get to the playoffs this year i don't anticipate it this is not that tough of a schedule um, it might be tough to win the division. As we said, the teams are really good in it this year. But getting to the playoffs, I mean, has to be the number one. Like, like that that must be checked off this year in Baltimore. Once they get there, though, we've talked about this in the past. Lamar's 1-3 and three in the postseason. The difference in his numbers is really staggering from uh, regular season to playoffs. 15 points per game less, 28.4 points lower um, in his passer rating. It's just like Lamar drops off the face of the earth when they get to the playoffs, and it's kind of weird to me. Well, that's that's the thing with uh, with him is, is he's reached the playoffs, and now you these coaches, these good coaches, they prepare. You know how to play them. We saw it with Tennessee. Tennessee put nine guys in the box, could didn't let him run any way. He didn't. He couldn't throw. Yeah. So, so hopefully, hopefully so now with those like, guys. That's what I'm hoping that that his weapons can do for him. But like, again, I going back to that, I think if you just stop him from using his legs, which is hard, but who does a good job of that is the Steelers, which I've seen. And if you stop that, I do not think that he can win a game with his arm at all. So that's so for Lamar Jackson, for you, you're saying go out in the playoffs. Now you're going to have to he win it with your has arm. to win it with his arm. He cannot win it running around scrambling, doing all this nonsense. Yeah. All right. All right. Ziggy, some final thoughts on the Ravens. I think that this is decidedly tier two team, not just on like the AFC, but in the NFL in general. But if Monkey can come in and reform the passing offense, the defense can just play up to expectations. They're a dark horse team. Dark horse Super Bowl winner? Yeah. Why yeah. not? Like, well, we know Lamar Jackson's an elite talent. He just, I feel like he hasn't gotten a fair shake up to this point for lots of reasons, some of which are on him. Yeah, this year some, some should be just, different. Some of it's just unlucky too. He's ended yeah. the last two years hurt. So but see, for Ravens it. fans, if this year is not different, they should start to worry. Yes, yes. No, this this is a season now. I feel like that's a, the way for a lot, I, I like a lot of NFL teams we've talked about so far. It's you know okay, a lot of pressure now in this season. The Bears, we said last episode.